ever tried a transfer me sheet? These are made by Dress My Craft, and I have a number of them here. They have over 300 different designed sheets. They retail for about $4.50 a sheet. This one is all sentiments. Um, they even have them um, where I have pieces here that I would cut apart. They have full sheets, whereas if you wanted to do, um, you know, a wood panel or something like that. Now, this one I have worked with before, and I already have cut a piece out, so I'm just going to use this for our sample. And I'm just going to cut right along there. And then I have my piece of paper I'm going to put it onto and so I'm just going to cut this down to my image. This one was newsprint in strips as you can see here. All right now the next thing you want to do is to peel the plastic coating off and this leaves you with a sticky surface here so you don't want to touch that and then you just want to put it down wherever you want it on your piece of paper. All right, now you're going to want to go on a light piece of paper because um, these are trans, uh, transparent and so um, they are not going to show up on like a black piece of paper. Now I have a water pen here. You could use a paintbrush with water, but you just want to start um, covering the back with water and you want to be somewhat generous with the amount that you put on. And you want to keep adding water until it starts to show through, kind of like uh, stained glass. All right. So you want to just let that set for a few minutes. And you can see now that that is starting to show through more than it did before. All right. And you can then, what I do is I put a little bit of pressure on with my finger and I pull, all right? And I can see that that's not enough saturation. So I don't know if you can see here how this is getting darker. That is kind of the look we want right there. So I need to get the rest of this covered. All right, so let's give it a try now. You just need to push and pull on that top layer and it will come sliding right off like that. All right, and I'm just gonna work on peeling this part back here. But if you slide, you get a better result than you do with what I'm doing here is, is peeling. Um, so for this one, I am gonna have to peel it to get it off, but there. And then you just wanna let it um, dry and you can dry it with a paper towel or I have a dry baby wipe here. Um, but there is my transfer and they're really fun to do. And, if you can get it to slide correctly, um, it is it is a really exciting to see that happen. transfer me um, piece and you can see here that I've done two images and they actually overlap each other and you can see that how they are transparent that I mentioned um, while we were working on doing the transfer. Now I have gone ahead and cut a coordinating piece of cardstock just a little bit larger that I'm going to center this into. No measurements here. I didn't do any measuring. I just kind of eyeball it. And then from there, I cut a card piece that then this piece will center into, like so, all right? 
And then I'm bringing in this butterfly that I have made ahead of time. I will link to the tutorial for this. It comes with a free printable so that uh, you can make your own. And we're going to place that guy right there. You can see how this is starting to build up, right? And then I took a strip from the top that I cut off of the mustard paper and I'm going to stamp it with a sentiment that says just a note. Now um, this stamp I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, it was part of a floral. I have tested it once on this color and it stamps okay. It is, um, I guess I'll say a little faded looking and I'm okay with that because it fits with the look of my transfer me sheet. And I have another one I've stamped just in case this doesn't work out. I'll just let that sit there for a second to, for the ink to transfer. And there. All right. I'm okay with it. It's a little faded, but I'm okay with it. So to put this together, I am going to use um, my tape runner to begin with. And I am just going to go ahead and start piecing this together. So on this card, we're going to kind of try to center as best we can. Once again, I'm not real big on measuring these things. And then I'm going to put this on there. And um, for some reason, my paper is a little bit curled. So um, I don't know if that was from the water or if it was the original piece, but I'm going to tape real close to the edge so that it holds everything down. So, yeah, we're going to go in here and look and see how that looks. All right. Now for the butterfly. I'm going to try and see if I can use just a strip of glue down the center of them if that will stick and I'm going to put it right in the corner here and then once I have it down well I can add its dimension back in and then the last thing is our sentiment here, and I'm going to grab some foam tape off to the side here. I forgot to do that ahead of time. Let's see, is that too thick? That might just be a little too thick. Let's try this one. That's better. All right. And I'm just going to do a single layer here. There we go. And then I'm going to peel back and fold down. And then decide where I want this. I think right about there is going to look good. So I'll hold that in place, pull this out, stick the rest down, and then flip it over and cut off the excess, and we'll be done. So there. 